Okay, so last week uh, we prepared and uh, fiberglassed uh, the center component, and uh, now it's time to fiberglass the rest of these, and then we'll be able to uh, put this thing together. So that's this week's project, so let's get to it. Okay, I got those all cleaned up and uh, third coat put on and uh, as you can see they uh, clean up pretty nice. So now I just gotta wait for that to dry and uh, should be able to go from there. Okay, I've got my uh, two pieces cut out. Um, I made my measurements and it was like 30 by 27. So I cut these uh, about two inches long um, because I am gonna be wrapping them over the edge on a couple of the edges. And uh, it's about an inch and a half, so I've got an extra two inches, so I should be fine. But I got those two cut. Uh, so now what I need to do is uh, put down my first coat of uh, epoxy and hardener mix. Then I'll lay this down on top cover that with another coating and uh, we'll go from there. We'll roll it out and uh, see how it sticks. Alright guys. A little bit of finishing the roll in here. The edges are really important. because that's the first place it's going to delaminate. So you want to make sure that you've got really good adhesion so the bonding can take place there. You'll have a few stray uh, stray areas where it's bonded perfectly, but you'll have some strands that are sticking up. And uh, don't worry about that; you can sand those out. Okay, that. Uh, Probably doesn't look very good right now, but uh, as soon as it cures and uh, finishes its bonding, uh, it'll look fantastic. I'll sand it down and I'll apply uh, some exterior spray paint and uh, it'll look fantastic. And uh, that kind of brings up a question. Why did I, first, why did I bother to stain it at all if I'm just going to spray paint it? And uh, the answer to that is I didn't know that was an option. And two, why did I use oil-based stain versus water-based stain or no stain? Because this is the first time I've done this and I didn't know any better. Now I do, now you do, if you didn't already. So uh, don't make the same mistakes I made. But if you do, you can work it out and, and it'll still turn out to be a nice uh, finished product. All right, so I'm laying out my glass. I'm going to go ahead and cut uh, the sections that I need uh, before I start uh, laying it down. Okay, I've already started uh, putting on uh, my first layer. Forgot to push record, but uh, time to put a little bit of glass down.
okay though uh, so now I just have to wait for it to cure set up and uh, judging by these uh, ones that I've already finished um, it takes about 24 hours and I'll be able to sand everything down and uh, apply some paint so there we go that's where we're at right now all right so I've got these uh, pieces here they're all done got the fiberglass done I love this uh, texture got this uh, centerpiece which is where the uh, large uh, panel by the tailgate connects to okay I cut uh, three pieces of flat bar and I'm gonna use those as uh, rain guards so I just gotta file it down a little bit where I made the cuts and uh, this is aluminum it's not a really thick gauge I just cut these on the uh, chop saw Alright, now I just gotta drill some holes in this so I have a way to attach it and uh, then I'll spray paint it black. Okay, so I just clamped this onto the bottom side of one of the hinges that I'm going to use and then I'm going to mark uh, the holes where I want to drill. And that way, um, one, the holes will be uh, nice and uniform and two, they'll be spaced the same as the hinge, so it'll look like uh, it belongs there. Okay, so this one is gonna go across the center piece that's uh, gonna be stationary, so I'm gonna be attaching it on both sides. And these two will attach to the side of the box covers. So since they're gonna be opened like this, um, they're only going to be attached on one side, and that's the the box lid. And the main reason for this, and you'll see it better once it's installed, but it'll be uh, a rain diverter. It'll cover up the cracks and uh, keep the rain, hopefully, out of the inside of the, uh, the truck bed. So I'm going to go ahead and paint these all black. Uh, these hinges are brown, so I'm not crazy about that, so I'm going to paint all of these black. All right, I'm starting to run out of paint. Uh, but it looks like I had enough, so I'll just let those dry. They should be dry in about 30 minutes. And uh, then they'll be ready to install. Not going to install tonight, though. I'll uh, hit that in the morning or in the afternoon after I get off work. All right, I've got all the components done. So uh, now it's time for installation. And... Um, since I've covered everything with fiberglass, uh, all of the existing holes that were in place when I uh, put it together initially just as a uh, dry run, those are gone. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to re-drill the holes because I don't know if the uh, fiberglass will split and crack. And I don't want to take any chances, so I'm just going to drill, pre-drill all of the holes and then I'm going to in install this hinge with this bicycle tire as the uh, rubber gasket that'll be underneath. I've used that uh, method before and it works out fantastic. 
makes it perfectly waterproof. Okay, this part's gonna be a little bit tricky. I'm, I'm gonna start one end of the gasket and then I'll uh, stretch it across and I'll get the other end done. Then I should be able to uh, fill in all the ones in between. Got that hinge on all the holes lined up perfectly so uh, we're in good shape uh, this will be uh, the last piece that I actually attach uh, to the truck though okay I got my two box covers installed and uh, they've got the uh, the rubber gasket underneath which is really just a bicycle inner tube. And uh, this is the gap right here that uh, I created these to cover. And I'm going to uh, put a bicycle tire over that gap as well. And then I'll install these uh, over it like that. That way it'll uh, keep the rain from going in that crack. And uh, this one where the, uh, the back piece over there connects to, you can barely see it, that one will connect here and there'll be a gasket there. So all of the potential uh, leak points will be covered. So uh, that's what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to attach these to the drawers and they're only attached on one side uh, because the the lid needs to be able to lift up like this. So let me uh, let me do that. It's important to hold this down tight when you're uh, attaching the screws because otherwise this will twist and bind. starting to run out of juice. Let's see how that opens. Yeah, I think that's going to do just fine. All right, going down the home stretch, attaching uh, the piece that uh, goes back towards the tailgate, and that's the last piece. And uh, I'll be getting close, close to done by then. I now have a functioning DIY fiberglass tonneau cover. All right, that's going to do it for this week. 
Um, so stay tuned for next week. I've got uh, one more thing that I want to add uh, to this tonneau cover, and I uh, hope you'll join me for that video. So that's it. I'll talk to you guys later.